Hello there, welcome to a demonstration on how you can calculate the slope coefficient using Excel. So yes, there is a slope function that actually exists in Excel that you can actually use to calculate the slope of the linear regression uh, through a given set of uh, X values or Y values. And uh, this particular demonstration is going to be a step-by-step -step process on how you can actually use that slope function to calculate the coefficient. So here I do have a data set and a data set is actually for the whole market value, right? And you can see here we do have um, uh, three variables and um, in this particular case for the purpose of this demonstration we're actually going to use only two variables using the market value is our dependent variable right and uh, the square footage is going to be our independent variable so uh, what you're going to do then is to call up the function called the slope function that will actually calculate the coefficient for us okay so what does this actually mean it means that we have to enter the equal sign here and of course we type in slope so we call up the function and when you do type it and it shows up you're actually able to see that it does explain to you briefly what it's actually capable of doing it returns the slope of the linear regression line through the given data points All right so we double click on it so that it's actually activated and as you can see it's actually asking for the dependent variable so the y axis so I select the dependent variable which is the y axis comma and then uh, it's also asking for the x axis which is our independent variable we select that and then uh, closing parenthesis we press enter and here we can see that it is actually calculated a number for us 35 okay so again we can round this up now what does this actually mean it means that for every change for every unit change in the square footage the market value changes by 35 dollars right so that's our slope right there so it's a very important coefficient uh, that we actually need for the purpose of, for for estimating various market values that we may not actually know right because it actually telling us that the relationship between the two uh, again we may not quite know how strong that relationship is but this is quite significant that for every change every increase in the square footage uh, actually every unit uh, results in um, a change in the market value by $35. Otherwise, uh, that's the demonstration there for you. You can actually use the, you can calculate the slope coefficient by using the slope function. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And again, as usual, like the video, share the video, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, and bye for now.